before we introduce the first discrete instruction, it's really important to understand how the PLC internal memory is going to interpret and read the states of discrete inputs and discrete outputs. So discrete inputs and outputs could be in one of two states, of course, hence the name discrete. So a discrete input could be in one of two states, either open state or closed state. As you can notice, we don't care what the, the, the type of the switch, it could be a push button switch or a level switch or a toggle switch. It doesn't matter. It matters if that switch is currently open, it will be read in the PLC memory as logic zero. If that switch was currently in the closed state, it will be read in the PLC memory as logic one. On the other side, the, PL in the P uh, logic zero in the PLC memory is meant to turn off a discrete output. A logic one inside the PLC memory is meant to turn on a discrete output. So as you can see, the items in the red color are, they all mean the same thing, open, logic zero, false, off, we can add to them, stop or de-energize, they all mean the same thing. On the other side we have the green items, close, logic one, true, on, we can add to them, start or set or energize, again they all mean the same thing. It's really to understand this simple concept because it's really, it will help us understand the functionality of the discrete instructions when we build or troubleshoot programs. The first instruction looks like this. The nickname is XIC. The full name is examine if closed. And from the previous slide, examine if closed, closed state switch or input will be read in the PLC memory, remembered as logic one. It means this instruction will examine if an input is actually read as one, closed is one. What this instruction does, it's a ladder instruction that refers to digital input or output or internal memory location. Right now, let's keep it simple and let's only consider the inputs. As you can see in this statement, we have a number of key uh, keywords that we need to focus on. The first thing is ladder instruction. So XIC is an instruction that only exists in ladder. It does not exist in other languages. The second keyword is digital. It means the XIC can only handle digital elements. It does not handle any analog elements. That's why it makes sense to say that the XIC, whatever it exists in the program, the possible values of this instruction will be either true or false, or one or zero. They all mean the same thing. The question is, when is this instruction true? When is it false? And the answer is in the job description. Each XIC is going to have an address that's going to tie it to an input. So what this instru instruction is doing, it will keep examining, it will keep monitoring a specific input. If that input is currently in the closed state, it, which means it will be read in the PLC memory as logic one, that's when this instruction is, will be true. Ha, be, that's the name for it, examine if closed. If it's closed, this instruction is true. If the input is, full, uh, is open, this instruction is false. So when the input's current state is closed, will be read as one, it means this instruction it is true in Alan Bradley, it will display the green bars on both sides. If it's false, it will not display the green bars, yeah, the green bars on the both sides. Let's see a small example to illustrate the concept. As you can see, we have two XICs right now, one to the left and one to the right. The one to the left has an address that's tying it to input that's wired to input terminal number six. What type of input? I have no idea. The, on the one to the right is actually tied to input terminal number one, as you can see from the address. Now back to the XIC to the left. What, is, what type of input? I have no idea, but I know one thing is that this input is currently in the closed state. Why? Because it's read in the PLC memory as logic one. And based on this, what is the state of this instruction, this XIC? that's referring to terminal number six. Is it true? It's examining the location of number six. Is it closed? Is it one? The answer is yes. And that's why this instruction will be true wherever it exists in our ladder program. And that's why in Alan Bradley, it will be displayed with the green bars on both sides. Now we're going to the XIC to the right. It's examining terminal number one. 
the same thing it does the same thing it is going to examine that location if it's closed or if it's reading logic one the answer is no as you can see it's reading zero it means one more time i have no idea what type of input is wired to that terminal but i know for sure it's currently in the open state because it's reading zero in the plc memory and that's why this instruction will be currently false and it will not display the green uh, the green bars on both sides of the instruction